All right, but we're running a little. Li let's see. No spoilers, but did w Deadpool and Wolverine kiss? Um, mm, it was, it was beautiful. But anyway, other than that, uh, the recording is now up, which means this is your host, Kazara Spell, and welcome back. To Xenoblade Chronicles 3 DLC Future Redeemed. Now, we started this last episode. I've already nerded out to you guys quite a bit. I had a lot of fun with it. Let's see. Caravan is also welcoming place for window shop. No, Jill Jill cannot repeat lie again. Please to buy something. Profit's been hurting. It did feel too good to be true. <laughs> Okay, so I believe we have, um, let's see, we have to get rock samples, uh, for a side quest. I know, isn't everyone so excited? We're back to playing Xenoblade, and I was talking about how good this game is, and now we're going to go collect rocks. I, I, I can feel the excitement. My treasure radar is going off. Open up. There's a need. But yeah, I, I came back. Uh, I don't think I said it on stream, uh, on the recording yet, but I did just come back from the Deadpool Wolverine movie. I had fun. It is not a piece of cinema masterpiece. Wow. But my god, if you just want to have some fun, it's fun. It appears I've already uh, fought most of the things here. But there is a rock sample yes. right here. Next is. Before I killed you. Oh, there's something special there. Let's buy some good. They don't look all that tough. Uh, uh, no good. Whoa. Whirlwind. It's me you want. That's a big help. Gotcha. Uh, there goes the enemy. Uh. That's a big help. Mighty strike! Oh, there goes the enemy. Don't provoke! Oh. Whirlwind! Crossway! How oh, right. right. That takes care of that. Quick. Dang, how much wants to fight me? We've already fought enough spear turkins. I appreciate it. Look, we don't need to fight. This is all on you. This was basically what I predicted. Ooh, big level 11 over there. I'll follow you. It's me you want. That's a big help. Whirlwind. Lightning. Break. Huh. Neal. Whirlwind. Huh? Mighty strike. You're both in. I forgot. I'll have to pick up the pace. Okay, let's see if we can take on the big dude. Smothering on Dante. We upgraded our gems and we got um a new setup going on with our fusion arts so i do believe we could handle this but it might be a tricky one oh dang big punch
It's broken. Topple it. Okay, topple. Launch and big hit. Boom, 5,000 damage. It's raging now though. Here's where the big fight happens. Broken. Topple. Launched. Boom! Another 5,000. Oh, uh, the way it was spinning in there. Yeah, that Xenoblade launch. It's beautiful. Oh, hey, it's Guguru. Let's see. Baba Lulu, where be you? If Baba Lulu can hear a voice of Guguru, please to answer will not accept no or silence for answer. What you yelling about here, little dude? Looking for someone? Meh. Baba Lulu went to fetch ingredients for a delicious dinner meal, but failed to reappear. Baba Lulu have worse sense of direction in all Ionios. With capital... What? <laughs> Guguru having turklets from worry. That worried, huh? That seriously sucks for you. <laughs> yeah, I'm fairly certain they know. Yes, definitely. Maximum suckage. Uh-huh. Well, would you look at the time? We'd best be on our way before... Please to hold on for one second. Conversation was clearly headed in assist Guguru with personal matter sort of direction. Okay, okay, fine. We'll help you out. Sheesh. Now that what Guguru we wanting to hear. Baba Lulu only vanished recently, so cannot be too far wandered. Guguru will look around here. Friends can search yonderly. To the north, yeah, gotcha. Guguru praying for good news. Alright, someone went missing. We have to find the very lost Nopon. But we don't need to worry about that. Not until we get more rocks. A most uncommon item. Oh, but look at all the enemies here we've not fought yet. That light. An ether channel as expected. Yeah, let's take on Fights with the babies! Big hit. It didn't get the multiplier, but it's good enough for this sm small fight. But what about big hit? Okay. There seems to be treasure hidden around here. Below me? Yeah, it's gotta be down. Uh. 
wonder if I can see it if I stick my neck out far enough. Yeah, I can see the, uh, I can see the little outcropping down there. I wonder how I get there. Cave. It's always a cave. Why am I even asking? I know it's a cave. It's always a cave. Don't you alert enemies, you dumb bard. All right, I killed enough bards. Basically what I predicted. Hey, these are rare. Way ahead here. I'll follow you. It's me you want. I'm feeling full of And I killed enough arrow dudes. This was basically what I predicted. Okay, so there's more dudes over there. The rock I need is up there within the incursion. I think I'm going to go over here first. Let's bash them good. Yeah, we need to kill the shielder. Spin it! And big hit. That was even a warm up. All right, there's another shielder over there. Let's bash them good. I'll send you to your rest. All right, we killed all the shielders we need. Looks like there's an enemy over uh, over the hill there that we still need to grab, though. I could have done that one-handed. Yeah, that frog. All right, give me your best shot. I'm ready. Oh, darn you with the poison. There's no such thing as antidote in this game, so we're just gonna have to, like, tank through the poison right now. Big hit! Basically, what I predicted. We can take it from here. All right, time to save the underdog. Save the crab. The outcome was patently obvious. I'm going in. You lot watch my back. Matthew, don't waste formation. It's me you want. That's a big help. Ow, my face. Gotcha. Whoa, 
And finisher. It missed. Darn it. All right, I'm glad that was the last Brog we needed because we didn't have any more. Got another location. Now we have to go kill those piranhas. I hope four is enough. Sorry, piranhax. Piran hacks. By the way, can I just say going from Xenoblade Chronicles 1 having no aquatic combat to the point where you basically died if you got into water too deep? <laughs> I mean, that's not true. That, that's not fair of me. But you you weren't allowed to, to fight and swim to this game, which it does nothing if you're in the water. It's fine if you're in the water. It feels so much better. Okay, that's all the enemies here. A most uncommon item. Now we can go kill those, uh, those up there. Grab ourselves a little bit more XP, get the final rock. Seems there's a unique enemy up there as well. Good times all around. Ooh, six on one. <laughs> or six on three. I think we can handle it, though. As long as we don't get blasted back too much by that dang bard. And boom! Bonus damage against launch. And slam! Alright, the last one of the incursion is this thing. Oh no, the big, the big bad found us. I have to get rid of the totem or else uh, it's just going to buff the big bad. That thing's dead. The spear turkin is dead. That just leaves us with hilltop checkman. Toppled. Launch. Big hit. And bigger hit. Yeah, we are. 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 Yeah
There we go. Give me all that nice stuff. Let's see. Wing necklace, work glove, soldier ring, foot protector. I don't think I'm really going to use a lot of that, but it's, I mean, it's good stuff to have. Guess I'll grab us a rock sample from here. All right, we got everything we needed. We got your rocks. Yo, we got you your stuff. Further appreciation! We'll hasten to analyze stone samples now. Well, a mass did detritus, friends. Berber found top location thanks to... As per promise, Berber will allow early access privilege to friends as soon as dungeon finish. Sweet. So when's this dungeon of yours going to be done by? Oh, not long. Maybe a hundred years, give or take. A hundred? That is quite the far-sighted endeavor. I guess we won't get to try out how to after all. Mais mais, that terrible shame! Then could friends at least use words of mouth to spread knowledge of? That way someone's sure to take on challenge hundred years hence. You want us to keep talking about it for the next hundred years? You nop on or something else. Ah oh well, no one knows what the future holds, I guess. Alright. We'll be sure to keep it in mind at least. And we got some Bladestone for that. Bladestone is something we'll be able to use much later. Okay. That enemy territory over there was level 20, so we can't really do that. And we're... We should be doing the very lost Nopon. Hold on. However, it's going to put us past the location of the um, bad guys. Oh, hey, we haven't uh, we haven't fought that nest down there. Yeah, Skeeter Ness. I'm going in. You lot watch my back. Sure, I can do that. It's me you want. That's a big help. Ow, my face. I'm really talking to him. It's me you want. I'm feeling full of beans. Take her out. I'm by the dark way. Oh, oh, I don't know. The enemy. It's me you want. I appreciate it. Oh, I don't see enemy. Oh, it's me you want. I appreciate it. I need to double check the affinity goals. Uh, 
Okay, we did get a check mark on those. We still have to kill another uh, crust, uh, another uh, crust up here. Was that a... Oh, it's that uh, cave I mentioned earlier. Is that what I think? Nice one. Let's open Ooh, a relic. These are nice. We got an art unlock kit from that. That will allow us to teach a character a new art. Lots of unique enemies over there. A level 20 incursion. I saw something up here though that I might be able to fight. Yeah, the red one. Unfortunately, I still need to kill him. Oh, there's one. All right, give me your best shot. Maybe don't take them all on at once. Ah. It's me you want. I'm going. Neil. Roger. Lord. Mighty strike. They're really dropping to us. Don't me. I forgot. I'm feeling full of beat. Don't let up now. Whoa. No injuries to speak of. I could have done that one handed. All right, we got some level 13s over here as well as that big level 14. We should be able to handle that. There's going to be a point where we can't handle enemies on our level because this game is also made to be made for you to have a six party member team and we only have three at the moment. We're, we're doing very well for having a very small team. Oh 
game says that there is a treasure located very close to here. Monsters of the world, beware! Is it up top? It might be up top. Once I hit level 20 with a full team, we'll be back for all these goodies. Oh, but there is a treasure down here. Let's have it then. Got a rare one. Score. The bigger they are, the harder I hit them. Let's go. Hope this works. Broken. Oh, I'm dead. Please res me. Hugger Gerald is no more. A most uncommon item. All right, there should be a null pawn around here in a spot of trouble, no less. There you are, Babalulu. Meh. Friends wishing for making acquaintance of Babalulu. Babalulu very busy foraging for mushrooms. Cannot entertain at present. Aha, so you're Babalulu. Guguru's been looking for you. Meh meh. 
Existence of Guguru completely slipped mind. Unresistible draw of mushroom smell sent Baba Lulu into foraging frenzy. Resist the urge, man. Please, Baba Lulu begging friends, help Baba Lulu now or leave to suffer unbearable lack of dinner snacking. These Norpon really like to ask for favors. It wouldn't be very cool to turn them down now, though. Let's get it over with. Would... Would you like us to pick mushrooms for you, then? No, that okay. Leave picking part to Baba Lulu, who is certified maestro of applied mushroomology. Instead, want friends to procure Pyronax meat for main dish. Fish and mushroom casserole, mighty combo that leave no taste but untingled. Fine, whatever. We'll get you your fish. So don't go wandering off in the meantime, yeah? Yes, hundreds of thankings. I never forget a face. How do I not already have the fish? I refuse to lack the dinner snack. <laughs> yeah, no, I yeah, I know you need your dinner snacking. But now I'm wondering what happened to my Pyronax meat. Was that you, Muffinberry? Oh, I accidentally touched the story! Wait. Huh? What is it, eh? Monster! Do you think the girl is fine? Unclear. I'd say for now you should probably worry about yourself. Ha! <laughs> this is great! Gimme gimme. Let me have a bash at this fella! Don't get too heated up, Matthew. No, 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 no
Toppled. Oh, big hit and the finale? Together! Another Mega Crash! was what you'd call gratuitous. The poor thing was within a century of its life. This old chestnut. I was quick. We won't get rumbled. You're aware we took out two Mobius yesterday. We could well be the targets of a manhunt as we speak. Then we knock them down some more. There's no guarantee that you'll keep winning. Nah, but we will. Think back on what you know. Not all Mobius are like those two. Huh. Huh. <sighs> Hmm? What's up? No, nothing. Huh? Do you have something to get off your chest? <sighs> you don't have to hold your tongue. We were the ones who extricated you. You may hold us fully accountable. Hmm. Huh? These gloves? You want them? No, not what I meant. That art... What was it? Uh, which art? Oh! You mean the Ouroboros power? Is that it? Ouroboros? First time you've seen it. Nothing weird about being curious. It was just... wow. But hold on a moment. You've got blades and arts too. Pretty much the same thing. Not me. I can't... Can't what? He means he can't summon a blade. Surely you must have realized given the way he's been fighting. I hear it can be an issue with some soldiers. Uh, still, you know. All part of life's rich tapestry. No big deal, am I right? Uh, hmm? I couldn't take them. With these. Not like you did. No way. I don't follow. Uh... He's talking about us defeating the Mobius. Hmm. Oh. Now I get it. I think you got it all wrong, though. What? You have it now. Inside you both. This power. Hmm? Remember? Back when I freed you with a burst of light. Anyone who gets touched by that light inherits the Ouroboros power. That's the way we got it, too. What, really? Uh-huh. With a little work, I'll be able to draw out its true power. And then, in theory, I'll be able to free others without even having to destroy their flame clocks. Well, anyway, the rest's all up to you. It's easy. You'll get the hang of it in no time. The thing about Ouroboros power is, it was created so we could smash up Mobius cores. And those are what? They're shiny chest what's it. <laughs> you destroy one and it takes him clean out. See, my granddad's pops, he used that power as soon as it came to be. And made it so that us city folk would hand it down through the generations. Granddad's? And what's of pops? Oh, that's right. Sorry. He wouldn't know about families. Sure. All this business went down about 70 years ago, or thereabouts. Right. Hey, Nicole. Mm. I'm gonna be frank with you here. Mm. Don't think yourself a burden because you ain't one. We've all got our strengths and weaknesses. No big deal. Yeah? Yeah, so we are currently being watched. That's cost us a ton of time. Let's hurry on, Matthew. With each passing minute, she's getting further away from us. 
I know that. Uh, which way were we? Northwest. Ah, yes. Northwest. Just along this path, then, yeah? I believe so. All right, and Nickel can now use Ouroboros powers. Blit Punch has been set to up on the Arts Palette. You can also now acquire related abilities on the Affinity Growth Board. So yes, Nickel can now learn Fusion Arts and whatnot. It's also telling me to obtain Unlock Kits to learn more. I think I could build a ladder someplace around here. Oh, hang on. Let me grab this chest. Let's have it then. Ooh, a free art unlock kit. <laughs> just, just in time, the game was telling me about them. Uh, there's the ladder. Can I make it now? Do I have enough for it? I do. Better stake our claim. But yeah, also for those of you who need the quick refresher on Xenoblade Chronicles Three lore. Nickel, as well as Glimmer, were not born. They were kind of children from pods. So the concept of, like, families, mothers and fathers, they don't understand. Ooh, Relic, yes. And I got a gem unlock kit. Those are nice. We could probably make new gems fairly soon, if not already. the Collectopedia really fast. Okay, still need there. But let's turn in what we have. Yeah, we still need a lot of Collectopedia stuff. Uh. Yo, is that a... Oh, how did I not never find that ether uh, spot? Careful, they're off the rest. Yeah, unlike the original Xenoblade Chronicles 3, uh, I forget if I mentioned this already, but uh, in the original game, Aether 
uh, ether channels respawn after a set amount of time. In this version, in the DLC, every channel can only be extracted once, and you need to extract every single one of them to get everything. Let's bash them good. I'll send you to your rest. But don't forget, there is something we can construct later to let us know where they all are. So it's not like, oh, we have to look all over the place. No, later in the game, we'll be able to make something to let us know where they are located. There, a school of Peronaxes. All right, then it's time to do some fishing. Yeah, punch the fish. Yee. That's the Piranax all finished, all fished up. Indeed. Take care not to damage any on the way. We should check back in. Just doing a scan to make sure we got all the enemies in this area. Yeah, sometimes uh, enemies will dig up items. Didn't seem to dig up anything new for us, though. And hello. We're back with the Pronax meat. Take it or leave it. Right now. Right now. Oh, sorry. Right. Now that that's all taken care of, can we get you back to Guguru? Thankings. So many thankings. Friends did fine work. Fish look very fresh and refreshing. Baba Lulu also finished with mushroom picking. Marking key turning point in dinner quest. Cool, back to Guguru then. Keep up, yeah? Ah, oh, we actually have to walk back. I don't suppose there's like a really close by, uh... Oh, there is. I can just jump off this. Which way next? Hey, these are rare. Yo, 
out. Baba Lulu, you're not devoured by unruly monsters. Guguru, Baba Lulu, so sorry for being source of worry. Phew, I'm glad it all worked out. And no more randomly wandering off on your own, you hear? Meh. S many sorries. Was unable to resist allurement of fungi. Should get fire going for dinner. Tummy of Guguru already go cray cray. Friends want to share in feasting. Act of kindness deserve kind reward. Nah, I think we're gonna head. Got places to be, you know? Thanks, though. Then at least let Baba Lulu share recipe. Would like friends to enjoy a beautiful ensemble that is fish plus mushrooms. And yes, we learned how to make the fun bowl. <laughs> Can't say no to that. We'll be sure to try it out sometime. Hear the latest. Panic! Event of century! W whoa, what's gone into you? Baba Lulu finally discovered it! Stumbled upon one of purported top three mushrooms of legend, Womp Shroom! I saw a toot shroom just back there, if that's what you mean. Did Baba Lulu say toot? Does toot sound like legendary anything to friend? Nay, this shroom womp. Like Levness engine. Ah, Baba Lulu is in paradise. Scent of incredible rarity filling nostrils. Ah, Baba Lulu, most privileged upon in Ionius. Let's let him enjoy his little moment. Keep in touch, yeah? Kukuru been seeing many strangers lately. Guguru petrified. Is Ferris out of bag? Has secret of delicious foods in vicinity finally reached mainstream? I somehow doubt that it's that. Or, oh, weird. Guguru's not finished. There's going to be more quests uh, involving Guguru later then. Yeah, let's go to camp. See if we can uh, make anything well, new. Here we are. What's on the agenda? First off, can we upgrade the How X reader at all? This? No, we still need a nebula fossil for this and this, and we have nothing for the key item ser sensor. But we're getting close. Next, we're going to look at our gems that we can make. All right, we can make this. This will be a good one. I like it. And let's see. I should make an attack gem. Finished. Let's take it for a spin. Looks we can boost enough. the healing gem we have. And the max HP gem. Like That'll do for now, I suppose. Now let's look at that new recipe we got. Ooh, it boosts the amount of collectibles we pick up. I don't see why not. Uh, 
Okay, I'm good. All right, let's take a look at some of the uh, things we got, though. How can I use my... my items? Okay, we're going to give you a new gem. No such thing as over accessorizing. We're also going to give you a new um, accessory. No such thing as over accessorizing. We got an art unlock kit. Do I want to give it to him immediately? Let's actually let's give one to A. My repertoire expanded. And one to Nickel. Use what I've that does mean, however, we're going to need to use his affinity growth to give him his two new skills. Smart bomb, which is an ether attack AoE. Not that great, but it's good to have. Um, and lastly, a buff, Machine Clap, which gives him defense up. Which is good for a tank. Got a new skill. The result of experience. All right, looking good. All right, let's give you clap. machine clap. I want to see what we can fuse art into that. Ooh, if we combine it with steady assault, it makes it uh, ether anchor, which means that enemies can never combo him. But what happens if we combine it with motor lifter? It causes a debuff barrier, which means that he won't uh, suffer from as many debuffs. I'm not sure how I feel about that. What if we combine it with Whirlwind? Oh, it gives AoE defense up. Everyone gets defense up if we do it this way. Meanwhile, Steady Assault. Steady Assault! No, oh, I'm sorry. Up here. Steady Assault! This will give piercing damage if it's a fusion art there, but what about Smart Bomb? That is an AoE pierce. Blitz punch. But this is high aggro pierce. So, ultimately, I think I'm going to go with Smart Bomb. Smart Bomb. And the AoE Defense Up. So he gives everyone Defense Up. Let's see, sometimes I just kind of vibe in your streams. I have no idea what's going on, but I like your magic words, Magic Hat Man. But also, I feel bad that no one, nobody is chatting. This is, look, I, it's okay if no one's chatting. My streams are very me just being intellectual with myself, and sometimes people chime in. I'm sure a lot of what I say goes over a lot of people's heads. But at the same time, you have to remember, I stream in the dead of night where I live. We're currently talking, like, I don't know what time it is for you guys, but for me, it's currently nearly one o'clock in the morning and we're going to go for three more hours. It's fine. <laughs> I don't mind. And I'm sure someone on YouTube is watching. So, like, I do get views. So, for that one person on YouTube, this is for you. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Oh, uh, let's see. Does A have more? A has more. 
We already talked about this. Giving them a uh, boost gives attack up, uh, evasion up, and attack up AoE. So I really want them to keep that. However, Lost Ray and Cross Ray give Shackle block. I don't know if I really like that. I mean, yeah, it prevents Shackle, but not a lot of things use Shackle. Bind plus area heal on hit. Oh, God. The thing is, that's the exact opposite problem because Bind doesn't work on nearly anything you want it to. Like, it stops some things from attacking, but it won't stop most things. Uh, but what if we combine it with Light Field? Light Field. Attack down on enemies. Again, it does. It's a very low chance that that happens, but it's still a very useful effect when it does happen. And it can work on just about anything, but it's very unlikely. What happens if I combine this with Lost Ray? Increase, okay, this one causes accuracy down and deals increased damage to toppled enemies. God, that's not that useful because nearly immediately after you topple something, it gets launched. If that dealt more damage to launched enemies, we'd talk, but that's pretty bad. Accuracy down is okay, but I think I'm gonna go for the attack down. As for you, we got new gems, so let's slap in you. This one's a basic one, give more attack. Um, now that we have money, though, let's go talk to the trader pawn. Come, come, not to be shy or spendthrift. Okay, let us buy the steam belt. Equitable exchange. And then another simple upgrade equipping this gives us more attack. So we just went up a lot of attack for uh, Matthew. Now let's warp to where that story happened. Is there anything else that I'm forgetting? No, we got that, got that, got that, got that. That's level 20, can't do that. Um, over here is around bad stuff too. It's this way. But yeah, if you just want to vibe in the stream, that's 100% okay. You can lurk. Like, people are allowed to lurk. I'm sure I got more than one lurker. Ooh, we got some enemies we have not fought yet, which means... Let's punch! Yeah, look at that damage. I was doing like 300 before. Well, not 300, but like 500, and now I'm doing 800. My attack is skyrocketing. That wasn't even a warm up. I'm going in. You lot watch my back. Don't break formation. That's a big help. Enemy data complete. That wasn't even a warm-up. Now let's kill this thing to see how much damage we're doing now. Revolt! 
Yeah, see, uh, if you look above the uh, screen there, uh, that red sword underneath the enemy, they got attacked down now because of our new skills. It's gone now, but there was a time it had attacked down. That wasn't even a warm up. Alright, give me your best shot. Maybe don't now let's fight a big version of it. Yeah, I didn't even need to pull out some of our new big attacks. We can do, like, unity combos. I made Matthew's attack stats stupid high and gave everyone else proper debuffs and whatnot, so we're doing very well. Let's continue with the story. Um, excuse me. What's up, Nicole? Well, um... Come on, man. Enough with the umming and ahhing. Spit it out. Sorry. Matthew, you could have chosen your words more carefully. Uh, uh, wait, uh, scratch that. I just meant that you shouldn't be afraid to speak your mind. I'd like to make some adjustments to the operation of my backpack arms. There was an issue with mobility in that last battle against the monster. I'm sure there'll be more fighting ahead, and I don't want to slow you guys down. Well, now. Is that all? Relax, no worries. We can take a load off somewhere and let you tinker. There's an open space over there. It should serve for a rest spot. Oh, uh... Thanks very much. Yeah, we a team. And hey, it came out weird earlier, but I really meant it. No need to be shy with us or hold anything back. You're not our hostage or prisoner. You know that, right? Um, yeah. Thank you. I'm quite surprised. He's more flexible than I thought. He comprehends his situation, does his best to adapt. Oh, yeah? I find him kind of, I don't know, meek. And he's not much of a chatty fella. All in life's rich tapestry, no? Yeah. People are people. Not everyone's going to have a personality as straightforward as yours. Uh, you taking the mick? No. Call it praise. Anyway, the real issue is our other friend. Hey. Matthew? I guess you foresaw all this, didn't you? Right from the start. Yes, but you needed to experience it. I'll take the blame. Oh, man. Anyway, we'd better go and find her before the gal gets herself. Yes. Farther till comms range. <gasps> Rolf! 
And now we get to play with Glimmer for a bit. Show off some of her moves. Unfortunately, I'm not going to go into great detail about what she does. Time to go for the throat. I'm going to save that for when we, uh... Get, you know, when, when we, uh get her in the actual party and I'll be able to go over the percentages and all that with you guys and what she can actually do, but she is a remarkable character. Like I said, in this DLC they added, there are no bad characters. There is just like one character that outshines all the rest, unfortunately. No need to fight anymore. No need to take life or fear its loss. No way. It's true. <gasps> Engines. Love misses? She gonna get herself killed. But they're not Kavasi Lovenesses. What's that gear? From the city. Like the ones we studied in the textbook? <gasps> uh uh. An Agnian soldier. Out here all alone, eh? She's probably scouting out territory. We'll capture her for now, get her unit's location. Don't want to be getting into fights with colonies right now. Yeah, this fight is very unfair. Stop resisting, or I will end you. Uh, you're. What's wrong, Panacea? Is there a problem? Ah, teacher. An Agnes soldier, so young. Teacher, she seems to be one of them. Them. The clockless. Clock. So she's out of the loop, huh? Who could have done it? Strange. What do you want to do, Shulk? It's our boy from the last game we played. He's Shulk. Nicole, how's your weapon doing? Everything okay? Yes. No issues, sir. That's good to hear. Also, do you want to drop the sir? I'm sure it gets tiring. Matthew, there's nothing wrong with having these heart-to-hearts, but we should focus on our pursuit for now. Yeah, all right, I get it. 
Monsters of the world, beware! Daddy, I got a dream you want. That's a big help. Ow, my face! The dream you want. That's a big help. Great! Yeah, these wolves are no problem. They're only two levels lower than us, but still, we're taking them out with ease. Four at once, not a problem. Go ahead, howl for help. There's no one left. That's a big help. Ow, my face. Oh, there goes the enemy. Three. 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 One. That's a big All right. Beating fair and square. It's just begging to be got. You're totally sure we're going the right way. The region beyond here is under Agni in control. If we posit she wanted to rejoin her people, there's a high chance she passed through here. All right, I trust you. Oh, what's up? Signs of battle. Not a full-scale army engagement. Something smaller. Oh. There's a reading, but it's faint. Which means refugees from the city. Perhaps. That or the girl could have been the source. Huh. Here. Definitely hers. So, she really was here? No husk, though. It likely means she was taken. You think maybe she killed them all? Unlike the soldier kids. We don't leave a trace after we kick the bucket. That's not possible. Given the evidence, they had the numerical advantage. Right, okay. So we follow them. If it is survivors from the city, they might know something about Nael. Indeed. I'm curious too. All right, we're on the trail. I believe our luck. What are the chances of us finding city survivors out here? Open up, says Touch. Me. Can't believe our luck. What are the chances of us finding city survivors out here? That's just one of the possibilities. Let's focus on pursuing the girl for now. Best shot. Maybe don't take them all on at once. 
Ooh, we got some snakes up ahead. Those are new. The outcome was patently obvious. Ooh, and there's something shiny near them. You don't watch my back. Matthew, don't waste formation. I'm feeling full of beads. Like three. There goes the enemy. One egg had three babies in it, sure. No, why'd you go over there? Now everything is attacking. Here we go, army of snakes. I'm gonna need a big AoE for this. Please die! Oh, he killed a whole bunch. Awesome. Ooh, accessory unlock kit. Nice. Here we go. Yeah, break it. Come on, topple. Ah, oh, no topple. Go for it. Toppled. Launch. Big hit. Yeah, Nickel's not doing so well. Hey, high time for a break. Got it. How should I keep busy? Gems ready. This should come in useful. That 
that'll do for now, I suppose. All right, I don't think I got anything for the X reader, but I can look. How shall I go about improving this? Nope, still no nebula fossils. <sighs> I feel kind of guilty for freeing you from the cycle like that. It's fine. No, but I just can't stand to see it. You guys fighting all the time. <sighs> You're not really great with strangers, are you, pal? Mm. Do you wish you could go back to your colony? If I did, I'd have to fight again. <laughs> We're in the same boat. That's so. Well then. I guess that makes us friends, eh? Friends? <sighs> I wonder how she is. <laughs> Release her. Huh? But teacher... She's already been freed from the flame clock, and that makes her a friend. Friend? All right, then. I'd like you to answer a few questions for me. May I? <laughs> First, we'll need your name, and the colony you belonged to. <laughs> so your name is Glimmer, Colony Gamma, assigned to the field support platoon, yes? <laughs> That's far. Gamma's territory is nowhere near here. So what are you doing out here all alone? Tell me who destroyed it. <sighs> Your colony's clock, I mean. That isn't military intel. Surely you could tell me that, no? Weirdos. Two of them. Weirdos. They waded straight into our battle with Kevis. And then... And the consuls? <sighs> You're saying they took out Mobius. That's not too shabby. Teacher's level. What were these two like? One had silver hair, blue garb, cut the clock clean through with a red sword. Right. And the other? Some guy didn't seem too bright. <laughs> Black clothes, used knuckles. He's the one that defeated the consoles with the power of some weird light. Hang on a sec. You're serious about that? That guy? Did his hair kind of look a bit like this? Uh, <clears throat> it's Matthew. Has to be him. That's mad. So he's still alive. Yep. Matthew, eh? Ah, oh, yes. He's a guy from the city. We were in procurement together. If someone's been beating up Mobius, I can't think of anyone else but him. He's that strong, is he? Huh? You people, you're from the city? Quiet. Did I say you could ask questions? Ugh. No, it's all right. You're correct. We do have citizens among us. But there's a bit more to it. We are the Liberators. We seek out survivors from the city. Survivors? That's right. In order to protect this world. Hmm. signals who'd call at this time oh one of them he's here glimmer no 
They want to help you, but you're being weird. If I remember correctly, though, something Whoa. really cool is going to happen. What the? Earthquake? Wrong. There's some kind of giant entity on the move. Over there. <gasps> oh, snap. Yeah, big one. It's late at night. Which colony is it? It's odd. It should have a crew of soldiers, but doesn't. It looks like it's heading to the east. After it, Matthew. Yeah! Oh. Giant robot fighting time! We've been had, teacher. Huh? The girl, she snuck off. You're kidding. The watch? She knocked them clean out. Nothing that'll leave a scar. Indeed. Let's find her. She'll likely be heading for a colony. They'll erase her on sight. Damn it. More babysitting. Told you we should have given her the full lowdown. I'm sorry. I thought it'd be too much for her to take in. I was hoping to ease her into it. <sighs> uh, teacher! Well now, this isn't good. Panacea, rouse the others now. Ready for battle! On it! <sighs> yeah, right now... The big, uh, the big robots know she's a threat, and she does not know that they're going to kill her. She's just like, oh, guys, see, I'm on your team. And they're going to be like, finally, we can kill you. I, I'm Glimmer from Colony Gamma. I was a member of the field support platoon. I lost my colony in the fight with Colony 5. I've been reconnoitering solo. Beyond here, there's a camp. I... I'm telling you. I'm Glimmer from Gamma. I'm not your enemy. Listen to me. Oh, but you are, pet. Huh? Soldiers who've lost their flame flocks have outlived their purpose. My Lord Consul. You want to know why? Because you're no longer good for anything. Oh, big part. You gave me the enemy's location, didn't you? Then I suppose you were good for something. But your fate is erasure. You're not! What are you doing? Move! Are you okay? This is what I wanted to protect you from. Now you see, this is the true nature of the consoles. <gasps> Who are you? This wasn't the compact. Compact? The one with Zed. We vowed a ceasefire. Not to interfere until matters were resolved. Ah, yes. 
I guess Lord Zed did all of us not to get involved or some such. But that was before. Before two of my comrades were slain without remorse. Now things are personal. those other guys all about never seen him before we can talk about it later we're joining the fray <laughs> thought you'd never ask <laughs> We can now use chain attacks in future redeem. When the chain attack gauge is full, press plus to initiate it. Chain attacks in future redeem differ from the main game in four ways. One, unity orders replace Ouroboros orders. That means nothing really. That is specifically only uh, flavor text. Two, accessories can change completion bonuses. We'll get into that later. Three, accessories can set heroic chain effects. We'll get into that later. And four, each unity combo used will raise the initial damage ratio. So basically, the more you use, like the more uh, combos you use, the more damage you'll do overall. That allows damage in general in this, uh, in future redeemed, to deal redonkulous amounts of damage. So, we'll get into that, but we first need to get our chain attack raised. I hope they have it set high to begin with. But now we can talk about unity orders. If you can complete chain orders from both of the characters forming a unity pairing in one chain attack, a unity order will be displayed. That is a lot of mouth gargle that ultimately means, hey guys, remember how we can mega crash? using both uh, Matthew and A at the same time. Meaning, if we chain attack Matthew and A, they can complete a unity order, allowing them to do the redonkulous damage during a chain attack. That is, again, it's a lot of words that don't mean a lot to a lot of people, but all you need to know is if I do this number, go up. Selecting a unity order will end the chain attack, but it will let the pairing perform their special in return. Everybody got that? Good. Hang in there, Nickel. Break. Yeah, I know we're punching the air. It's it's RPG logic. Topple. Launch! Hit it with the Mega Crash! Thirteen thousand damage! Oh, it is not happy with me. Jesus. 
Joke! Oh, it's Smash! Hang in there, everyone! Break, topple, launch, let's do it! Hit it with the Mega Crash! Who are you guys? Sorry man, stealing your show. I'm Matthew, and this is A. Oh, and he's Nickel. We had a run-in with your friend Glimmer over there. Couldn't just let us play, you know? Wait, so then you're... the so-called Udabonis power. Now I see. So that's how you were able to kill a Mobius, is it? You ain't seen nothing yet, bub. How about I give you a demo from up close? That's an awfully mean grimace you're giving me there. I did something to you. I'm the faintest idea why you'd be so mad at little old me. Well, maybe you don't, but I sure as hell do. I hate you so much. A thousand deaths wouldn't bring me peace! <laughs> Matthew, easy now. Rage blinds you. We've been through that one before. Thing is, anyone who acts all high and mighty like that needs a bruising! Wow! Big words! I'd love to see you try! And I've got just the ticket to make it real interesting. What now? Oh no! A second giant robot! It's another Pharonis! And he's fusing them! You know, I'd actually be terrified if it wasn't what so cool. Gotta be shitting me. You guys remember that little boy from Xenoblade Chronicles 2? Oh, how he grew up and how cool Rex looks now. Okay, it's all backed up. First, we gotta get a little bit of a flashback before we do some more epic robot fighting, though. Fifteen years ago feels like a dream now. Like it was an eternity away. You might never have to use those again. Now, wouldn't that be amazing? The Queen of Keves, though, she's still not free. What, you think our fight's still not over? Can't things stay like this? The soldiers, they're still fighting. Right at this moment. Personally, if things could just stay this way, 
I'd be happy. You serious? If Granddad could hear you, he'd lay you out flat. Yeah, I know what he'd say. The soldiers are the roots from which we grew. But still, we are who we are, right? And them and the Mobius, they're a whole different story. No reason we can't coexist. Nah, don't give me that. Come on. There's no need to fight if we just stay out of each other's way. It's worked out fine for the past 15 years. I guess for you, it's all or nothing, huh? Huh? Those children are everything to me, you know? What choice have I got? Leave it to Uncle Rex. I'll show him a thing or three. <sighs> you okay? Yeah. yeah. Can you stand? <sighs> Nicole, ready to fight? <sighs> You too, Glim. Hop, hop. Huh? There'll be time for thinking later. For now, it's down to brass tacks. And these dual wielding swords that represent Pyra and Mithra. Let's go. Our team of six is assembled! Try to take out the Agni in one first. Hit it with a Mega Crash. Okay, let's smash the next one. Topple. Launch. Try Calamity. Let's get 
All right, let's heal everyone. Should have done that to Matthew, darn it. it is. One flame clock, two flame clock, and the core! Punch right through! Timing there, Rex. Thanks for that. Everyone knows the real hero steps up in the third act. <laughs> Still, something's off here. Hmm. Double the flame clock. But no soldiers inside. There has to be more to it, boss. I've heard a rumor about how one of the Mobius likes to create all kinds of experimental flame clocks. Blinker. Mind looking into that for me? I can do that. I'll dispatch a platoon. We'll see if they can get a handle on it. Lovely. All right, so... Who's this, then? 
City refugee, it seems. Well, that explains the Ouroboros power. And this soldier, who released him? <sighs> My day keeps getting better. To business, tell me, Shaw. How'd Mobius get the jump on you? Because of her. We'd meant to protect her, but she went and gave away our position. Uh. Hang on. You wanted to get back to your friends, huh? Uh. Even if it meant getting us all killed. Uh. No! Don't try to play the innocent with me. You were well aware of the consequences. But you decided to ignore that inconvenient fact. Enough. Stop! Hmm? I am not letting the enemy get into my head! Manners! I didn't ask for any of this! It was almost time for my homecoming! My comrades and I... We made it all this way! I fought so snuffing hard. <laughs> Listen, two things. First of all, that there was your enemy. And second, let it go. Your friends are gone. What's the plan from here, then? It's pretty clear you're not our enemies from the way stuff's panning out, but it's all a bit eh, right? Don't give me that. Obviously, we're teaming up. Hey, mate? Dylan! Mate, you were alive! <laughs> that was about my reaction, too. Glad you're still with us, Matt. I'll set us up some tents. We can all debrief each other there. Ah, oh, now we're talking. I haven't slept under shelter for yonks. First light, we'll make a start for our base. If it's all right with you, I'd feel a lot safer if we traveled together. I don't really mind. What do you think? <clears throat> all right, then. Great to hear. So, what's this base thing? And who are you guys? Feeling kind of lost here. I'll tell you all about it on the way. It's not like we're in any rush. Right. Yeah, I suppose that's true. Fine then. Great. So yeah, we got all our party members now. They may not all 100% be a part of us right now, but we know the sex. The Liberators are a resistance faction that Rex and I founded to fight back against Mobius. So you've been fighting them too? Yeah. Our goal is to free the world. To return it to how it's supposed to be. But right now, we have another immediate objective. What's that then? There are many people. Ones from the city, like you and Dylan. All soldiers freed from the clots. We rescue them. Keep them from harm. Working towards that is currently the Liberator's Glimmer. concern. Come on, Glimmer. You can do it. She can figure it out. At its founding, we only had a scant few members in addition to Rex and myself. But in time, the people we helped offered us their help in return. And our numbers have swelled considerably. Oh, but you'll see soon enough. There's our temporary camp now. Well, we made it. We should be safe here for the time being. 
You can use that tent over there. We've had it set up especially for you. Thank you. We'll do just that. Phew. Be a nice change to finally get to Kip under a roof. <sighs> mm. Look, everyone here knows what's what. Nobody's gonna bully you or anything. Gee, thanks. Very reassuring. Not. All right, break it up now. How about we grab a bite and unwind, eh? Don't need you running around hangry. I'm not really hungry. Uh. Liar. Try to get some rest. We'll take the guard shifts. We'll be departing for base in the morning. Don't go the whole night without sleep. Noted. All right, then. We'll see you later. That was harsh, boss. Hmm? You didn't have to talk to her like that. Not cool. Tell me something I don't know. <sighs> you don't want her with us, is that it? I'm sure she'd see sense if you just gave her a chance. What's the problem? Mm. Is it because it feels too close to home? You always have to be right on the mark. Very well spotted, though, Linka. I knew it the moment I saw her. She looks like them, exactly. I know, right? Someday, I knew it'd happen, but not exactly the best timing, is it? It's the same deal with him, you know. What, Shulk? Really? Really, really. Panacea said she had a hunch. Strike me. <sighs> I guess we're bound by fate. Like it was meant to be. I'll leave the speculation to you guys for now. It's kind of obvious, but... Nice you've got. <gasps> Oh, hey, Riku, when did you get here? A hitch. And listen to the power of that motor. It's just a tool for destruction, death. Nothing to be praised. Good point. Oh. Uh, wow. That's an Equities pulse driver assembly. No wonder it's so pleasing to the ear. And melded with a cylinder. Perfect soldering technique. Hey, stop that. Did you make it yourself? Uh, yeah, well... I've always liked tinkering with machines as well. I can't help myself. Um, earlier... Mm -hmm. You tried to help us, right? Using this. Oh. A tool is merely a tool. It does as the user chooses. Wouldn't you agree? Be it to kill others, or to help them. You're on. A war wound, from way back when. Then Riku here made me this one, but... But! What, please? Manner of expression seem pointed. I'm not saying it's bad. It's not bad at all. Just a little squeaky. That's same as saying bad. <laughs> Riku had to make from hodgepodge material. Do not nitpick. <clears throat> hey, um, would you mind if I take a look? Thought so. Here, you're missing a shim between these bits. That'll be why it creaks. Hang on, I should have one here somewhere. Not as if there's anywhere left to run. I, uh... I think it was good. What happened. Huh? Fighting against you. 
I don't understand. If we hadn't fought, we wouldn't be here now, like this. Here isn't exactly a sparking picnic. People would bully me. What? Because I can't summon a blade. It makes me kind of useless. Hmm. But all those bullies, they're dead now. Yeah? Well, good for you. Bet that's a weight off you. Someone like me. How'd I survive? Nobody else did. Uh, hmm. But now, I can make something of myself. That's how it feels. Honestly, just knowing who I'm meant to be fighting, that's the biggest thing of all. Nicole. Another thing I'm happy about. Hmm? Back then, I'm glad I didn't have to kill you. You have got to be joking. <laughs> A little squirt like you can never take me down. That day, we became friends. Uh, you're an idiot. Wow. Oi, oi. Lovely morning today. Perfect weather. Wrong. This cloud cover practically guarantees rain. Oh, come on, eh? Morning, everyone. Hello? Whoa! Did I just hear a hello from you? <laughs> what next? A rain of brogs? Plain rain's bad enough. Damn, if I didn't know better, I'd think you were warming up to me. I was forgetting the real idiot among us. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. It's cool. This is progress. <laughs> this is progress. <laughs> yeah. Morning all. Feeling refreshed and ready to take on the world? Yeah, thanks to you guys. Haven't slept this well in ages. Don't mention it. It's going to be quite a trek to our base, though. Yeah, speaking of... Where is this base of yours, exactly? Once we climb that cliff and follow the road, you'll be able to see for yourself. Ah, oh, sweet! Can't wait to see what it's like. How about you, Glimmer? Not interested. Ah, uh, <laughs> still being a sulk, eh? I'm a little curious, I think. Yeah, at a boy, Nicole! See that glimmer? You can stand to learn from this one. Can someone shut this guy up? <laughs> He'll grow on you. He'll grow on you. Some refugees from the city, by the way, back at base. You should let them know you're fine once we've arrived. I'm sure they'll appreciate it. Yeah, I'll be sure to do that. Thanks. All right, we're all done with the banter. This road's not going to walk itself. It would be yeah, nice if it did. But all right, Unity setup. You can now customize your Unity pairings. To do so, go to main menu, Unity, and press Y. Unity setup. The combination of characters you choose will affect their Unity skill and the specifics of their Unity combo. Try finding the pairings that best suit your battle needs. I never forget a face. Let's let all the, this stuff uh, go through. And then I'll explain uh, some things. Cool. Yeah, we unlocked a lot of things in the last... <laughs> it, it, ever since we approached this place. Alright, so next. First select Unity. Now we can set up pairings. For the first pairing, try setting up Matthew and Nicole. I'll follow your lead then. 
select A and Rex. Gently now, Rex. And the last pairing will be composed of the two characters that are not yet paired. Select Shulk to finish. Two heads are better than one. Now you can confirm the chosen Unity pairings once you've looked them over and select Confirm. Unity combos and skills differ based on the pairings. Be sure to experiment with all sorts of setups. Unity indicators. Recharge for other character specials is now shown in the le in the circles left and above the active characters gauge. Yeah, so it it's really tiny. I think I might even be blocking it. D don't worry. I'll, I'll keep track of it. It's just, it will let me know when the others are available. Even if the one I currently have selected is not. Guess we can expect monsters on route. Better stick close together. Thanks for... Alright. Now then, though... We're not ending the stream, don't worry about that. I'm going to go into nerd speak again. Because now that we have three more party members, and I've already gone over three of them, it's time to talk about the other three party members, especially one in particular who is aggressively the best character in the game, and it's not even close. But let's start with Glimmer. If we move over to Glimmer's Arts, we can see that she has the ability Illusory Bloom. What this does is it causes physical defense down and inflicts blaze upon hit. This is an absolutely outstanding attack. It may not deal a whole lot of damage at first, but despite the fact that she's a healer, it causes damage over time as well as a physical defense down. Meaning, even it, it, like, she has two separate debuffs on this one attack. It's it's good. That's just a good thing. It <laughs> I, I don't know how to describe it beyond that. Debuffing is kind of a weird thing in this game because a lot of enemies later on will become resistant to many of your uh, debuffs. However, Physical Defense Down and Blaze are both always debuffs that are good. There's never a bad time to try to inflict these on them. So even if it doesn't work all the time, it still is damage on top of that. And the reason I'm going into the fact that this is such a good skill because many of the skills in the previous game, or not the previous game, in Xenoblade Chronicles 3, they usually only allowed you to do one skill, like one debuff, and it was sometimes random, and it was sometimes bad. It, it was mixed all over it, like, honest to goodness, it was kind of bad to use debuffs in, at all in that game, in uh, the base game. But now she has a good one. This is a good debuff skill, and I'm going to state it very plainly. Uh, otherwise, she has Great Garland. Heals nearby allies when art hits up to 100% of healing power. She has a decent amount of healing power, to be honest, and has a pretty decent power multiplier. The recharge also isn't as bad as uh, some of the others. If we give her some of the skills that increase the uh, how fast she can swing her weapon, as well as uh, the double strike ability, it, you could get this back very quickly. Though we are going to be focusing on increasing her healing ability. So... There are two ways to go about this. This is fine. This is perfectly acceptable. It's good. Uh, lastly, we have Flare Aria, which is attack up field. Attack up field that comes back after three attacks is stupid good. It is silly good. If you guys remember in base Xenoblade Chronicles 3, there was the character Uni who had the field medic skill and it she couldn't give that skill to anyone else and it was she was considered an S tier character with her default class because she had an attack up field. This is one that comes back even faster. Always useful. Very good. Very good. Very good. I know I'm saying it a lot, but trust me, it's good. Lastly, we have uh, the Elysian Anthem. It is just heal all allies when art hits up to 150%. It is your box standard 
healing ultimate attack. No razzle dazzle, it is exactly what it needs to be. Good. Um, oh wait, let's grab everyone's uh, bonus arts though. I want to explain these while I'm at it. A new art, the possibilities. Oh, if I do it like this, it's all coming together now. Wait till you see this one. Wait till you see this one. Okay. Anyway, she also has Daybreak Him, which heals everything around her. Good. This is where it starts getting silly, though. With the Burning Ballad ability, she can cause critical rate up, meaning everything around her starts landing critical hits more often. This is good. This is really good. On top of her attack up field, having a uh, critical rate up field for extra critical hits makes her probably one of the best, uh, like, <laughs> healing characters in the game. That, Like, medic character is what I was going to say. She's one of the best. She has a whole bunch of skills that heal and she just gives general attack up and crit. It's great. And lastly, we have Meteor Flame, which is her most powerful attack at 300% right now uh, and causes Aether Defense down. This might seem really good, but it's also not very good because as a healer, she doesn't deal a lot of damage, and I know I was praising Illusory Bloom despite the fact that it's only 110%. I was praising it because of the damage over time and the physical defense down. Just having a big attack of Meteor Flame, she doesn't have a lot of attack power to begin with. So, yeah, it's, it's not the best. It's good. It's fine. But, honestly, you shouldn't be using her as a base DPS. And if you are, I got some bad news for where this, where this is going to go in the future. <laughs> anyway, on top of that, we need to talk about her skills. So let's unlock two of her skills. I learned a skill. My senses. And let's grab everyone else's while we're at it. A new skill. Let's see. Hi, skill. you were wondering if I had some advice for the main game. You're planning on resetting your save because you got lost in the lore after two years, but you're also stuck on classes level up because you were over level. Um, honestly, my advice for um, oh the base game, I, I did a full playthrough, so it's really hard for me to pick out which exact piece of advice I would go with. Um, but if I had to choose one, I would absolutely say work on your gems and work on like what you want everyone to do. That might seem obvious, but it's things like you want to be able to do combos very easily. So for example, you want uh, to be able to set up a break, a topple, a launch, and a smash very easily across your characters. You want to make sure that you always have that setup going on and that it's always accessible. And if you can put all four of them on one character, you have a winner. Put, oh, also... Put as many breaks as possible on your team. If you can manage that. On top of that, two attackers, two defenders, two healers are a fine way to play it. There, There's honestly so much to the system. I wish I could go into a heavy amount of uh, explanation, but I hope that helps. But gems are where it's at 
and also the uh like accessories are a big one and don't knock simple accessories like if you're just trying to beat the game in general do not knock simple accessories for example on uh matthew with his accessories right now i got the steam belt increases attack power that's it that's fine that's good <laughs> like don't, don't overthink it sometimes more damage be good or with uh, Nickel here, more max HP is good. Don't overthink it. I hope that I hope that advice helps. Otherwise, when it comes to Glimmer, uh, no, wait, did we already finish? Oh, right, skills. We were on skills. Sorry. Um, she has soothing fire, restores nearby's HP. On art execution, amount healed is equal to 30% of user's healing. So this is, um, oh, and for the classes level up, honestly, like, that's the, that's the hardest thing to talk about because, um, there are so many classes in the game, it's very difficult to choose just one. Uh, look, okay. Simple things. The character Senna, she starts with a class called Ogre, and that has the ability to call, to make the skill break work more, like, work better for her. So, if you can put a break on Senna as soon as possible, break Ogres are a thing, and it just makes you be able to combo significantly more easily. Um, as for healing... The field medic that Uni starts with is a good one. Uh, oh, also Tyon's uh, Tyon's class of like I forget what he's called tactician maybe. Uh, it's not a good one to use. It has good skills to rip off of, but really you're just gonna want to look into taking skills. Also, in terms of damage. I remember the Incursor being a really powerful one. The Full Metal Jaguar is good for a, for a long while. Um, honestly, I don't remember the names of the tanks. So I can't give advice there. It, it's, hard, it's hard for me to remember. There are like 30 plus classes. And I could tell you, you could get... Uh, some of the later ones are very overpowered, um, but also I don't want to get into spoilers. But yeah, if you're just looking for which ones are good, the Swordmaster uh, is good. The Ogre is good. The Incursor is good. And the Field Medic is good, like what, whatever Uni's class is called. I think it's Field Medic. Those are good starting classes to work on. I hope that helps. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Uh, so the reason that Soothing Fire is good on Glimmer is because restores allies HP for using arts. Meaning that our healer here is really good at healing. She can heal more. That makes her super good. She can just heal when she heals. Because you want healing in your heal. Lastly, Healing Genius. Boosts the amount of HP healed from using healing arts. So, she's just doubling down on healing. That seems really simple for the healer class, but... That's really important that Glimmer is really, really good at healing. It's so nice that she is so good at it. Anyway, let's move on to talking about uh, Shulk next. Shulk in his arts, he has a break skill that deals a massive amount of damage. And massive damage is fine on a tank. He's not an attacker, so this is good for drawing aggro. On top of that, he does do a break. Meaning that uh, Matthew is not the only one. Having more break on your team is fantastic because it allows you to ease your access to getting those combos through. 
Next, um, Heavy Rush. It deals damage and it boosts damage when dealt by 50% when awakened. I forget, does he have uh, a way to get into awakening easily? Is it a skill? No, he's... Okay, so you have to use his abilities to make him awakened. So I'm not sure how I feel about him having a skill that boost damage when awakened because he's like unless you're really trying to get him awakened often using specials it's not gonna work that often uh lastly slit edge bleed bleed is a fine status ailment that that's really all i gotta say about that it is an aoe attack that causes bleed it's fine and then we have the Monado Buster over here. Deals damage that ignores defense. Also boosts damage dealt by 70% when awakened. Again, it's another one of those. If he is awakened, good. Good. Uh, so, like, honestly, I don't know how I feel about his base damages. Or, or his base arts, because... I mean, the only one I really, really like is the break. But let's talk about his other ones. Monado Rage causes target lock. This is a fantastic skill to have on a tank. This will force the enemy to look at him. He is a tank. He, we want enemies to look at him. Good. Uh, next, we have Monado Armor, which causes Armor Veil buff. I believe Armor Veil buff in this game is temporary HP, so it gives him more HP. That is good. If you are a tank, you want more HP. This gives you more HP. Good. <laughs> I, do, I hope I don't need to explain that one. Uh, and lastly, Monado Purge, AoE around self. This one comes back very often at only 5 recharge speed. That is very fast. And boost damage dealt when enemies are targeting you. And you can force enemies to target you using Monado Rage. So, this is a good skill to have. Unfortunately, we can only have one skill at a time on Shulk in terms of the left stuff, so... One at a time, I'm going to give him the Monado Armor for the time being. Also, welcome to chat. As for uh, Shulk's skills, when nearby allies attack, deal 100% of attack in damage to enemy. This is really fun because this counts for AoE attacks. Um, if Nickel currently has the aggro, uh, it will cause Shulk to try to take some of that aggro away from him and it, it's fun it's just more thorns it's more thorns and it's good and lastly a uh, natural born warrior grants a small increase to damage dealt the more enemies target you up to a maximum of 300 percent this is okay <laughs> the problem is is that it increases damage but if you don't have that many people attacking you, you're not getting that much damage? If that makes sense. It's fine, but... Look, Nickel is going to be drawing some of the aggro, so they're not going to be 100% focused on Shulk. Shulk's target lock can only force one enemy at a time to look at him. And then we're going to get into the real problem when I talk about the final character. And, you're, and welcome to chat. We're about to talk about you know who. But yeah, Shulk is a fine tank. He, he is A-OK. -okay. He deals enough damage on his own. Yeah, it's he's good for keeping aggro. But he doesn't have anything to take it to begin with, really. He's fine. I believe he gets some skills later on 
to help him out with uh, like evasion and whatnot. But we're going to have to see that in a bit. But now we're going to have to talk about him, aren't we? So anyway, guys, I've stated it before that there is one character in this game who is vastly superior to all other characters. And that is Rex, our good boy from Xenoblade Chronicles 2. And it's, again, not even close. So anyway, let's start with Anchor Shot. Um, it inflicts topple. We've already been over this. Being able to just continue the, the combos are good. So by himself, he is able to topple. On top of that, using Dual Blast, he, if, you, if he can get on the side of an enemy, he can inflict a launch. So already, he has a topple and a launch all to himself. He's the first person we've seen to be able to have two of these. Hooray! On top of that, we need to talk about his most broken skill, Double Spinning Edge. On critical hit, recharge art used by 20%. Now, at the moment, it, that may not seem too great. Because if you can see in the bottom left-hand corner, his base critical hit is 19%. And I've already mentioned before, back when Matthew first started, Matthew had... 25% when Matthew started this. So you're probably thinking, well, Matthew's the critical hit guy. No, no, no. Matthew is not the critical hit guy. The thing is, he Rex will have so many critical hit gaining abilities that they <laughs> that starting him low is the only thing they can do to hold back his power in the beginning. <laughs> So anyway, on critical hit, recharge art used. Meaning, the more critical hit you get, the more this is going to go up. And by the way, with double spinning edge, he hits four times. That is not insignificant. If, so he can basically get most of it back if he crits all four times. That is a big feat right now, but we're going to get into why that's not that bad later on. Keep in mind, not everyone here has all of their skills. So I may not be able to show Rex's full power just yet, but we'll get into it. Next is Infinity Blade. Unblockable also deals damage that ignores defense. 750%. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to have to relook. Does anyone else have an unblockable attack? That ignores defense, but if they block it, that's 50% damage reduction right there. Do you? No. Do you? Deals defense bypassing attack. Okay, what about you? No, you have the vision ability and you recharge arts. No, he ignores blocking and defense. Cool with a massive 750% multiplier and a recharge gauge of four, which is not great, but remember, recharge comes back whenever you score a critical hit. Like that, that aids to him. So if he can start getting into crit city, this is gonna come back very fast. But anyway, let's talk about his other skills. I'm sure those are reasonable. Oh look! Boost critical rate against enemies performing arts by 50%. Okay, so sometimes boost critical rate. Uh, okay. Next, we have Rolling Smash, which is an AoE of a power multiplier of 300%. This is probably one of his lesser skills in this game. Rolling... Uh, and <laughs> I love the fact that... the that they had to nerf this one because back in Xenoblade Chronicles 2, this was his ability to lower his aggro. And I would like to make very clear, there is no way to lower his aggro, I don't think. Does this? No. Okay, there is no way to lower his aggro in the, in the DLC. It is... He's going to die. 
<laughs> Rex is going to die so much. And then we have Sword Bash, which this is definitely his weakest skill, where all it does is give resistance down, which may which just makes it so that enemies are more susceptible to debuffs like like uh, some of glimmer skills and all that but now we need to talk about some of the other things we've already meant uh time to talk about skills boost damage dealt by four percent when landing a critical hit rex is going to be critting very often so this just means as he's scoring critical hits he will be doing more damage hooray and these can be upgraded We'll get into that later. And then lastly, on a critical hit, always ignore enemy defense. Also, increase critical hit damage bonus by 30 percentage points. So, all of his attacks that are criticals just annihilate things. <laughs> This skill, the fact that it does both of those effects in one skill, remember, I would like to reiterate, back in, when we played Xenoblade Chronicles 3, I had a skill that increased critical hit damage, and I considered that broken. This is more critical hit damage than that skill, and ignores defense. Remember when, like, it was Uni who had a skill that 50 per- like, on crit, 50% of physical damage ignored defense. This is just 100% defense. Gone. This is- this is stupid busted. He is not yet broken. I would like to reiterate that. Rex, as of right now, with his 19% critical rate, is not the force of God. But, as we continue playing the game, he will be. On top of that, we can just give him this uh, gem. Do I have that gem? No, I didn't make the critical hit gem yet. But I can just boost his attack. We'll give you the, uh, that, and you the that. Alright. So that's where we are right now. I know I gave a massive explanation for a lot of characters who are not even finished yet in what they can accomplish. So we will be talking more about them as the game goes on. But I wanted to give you guys an idea. But before we go completely, let's talk about Unity. <laughs> Because there's one combination of Unity that the game doesn't really want you to use. And that is if you combine Rex with Glimmer. Because just having them be the Unity boosts the critical rate of everyone and the critical hit damage. <laughs> Fun. Otherwise, let's see. What do I want? I'm thinking uh, boost effects of art each, with each different art used within a set time. That is good. Let's go for it, eh? And lastly, reduces damage uh, to allies by 10% and boosts HP recovery by 10%. This makes tanks be better tanks. Um, so basically, we just by doing so. this, these are pretty much the best setups that you can have. But boost all allies critical rate by 15% and oh my god, this is this is dumb. This is dumb. This is good. This is fun strength in numbers. So now we can continue our adventure, okay, so there is apparently treasure around here It's probably up top Oh, chain-specific accessories. Oh, great. Another thing I have to get. 
I have to talk about. Battle manuals, tactics manuals, and strategy manuals all belong to a new type of accessory in Future Redeemed, and they all have abilities specific to chain attacks. They go in their own special slot and change the effects of the completion bonus and heroic chain. They're also more potent than the default, so don't forget to tinker with them. Bear in mind that you cannot own multiple copies of the same accessory, so have fun experimenting with all the possibilities that this feature opens up. This is a fantastic little ability. So, going into characters, I'm not sure what Volume 1 does, so let's just take a quick look. Battle Manual 1. Multiplies TP by 150% when first in line to attack. So... The reason that this is really good is because... Oh, and by the way, thank you very much for the follow, Shardiums. Um, but yes, what this does is multiplies TP by attack by 150%. So normally, all of our attackers deal um, a multiply of 125%, not 150%. So just slapping this in makes them better. Guess who's getting it though? Do you think it's going to be our good boy Matthew or do you think it's going to be the unstoppable killing machine that we're going to set up to do un obnoxious things? Well, I kind of answered my own question, didn't I? Anyway, we're also going to rip the uh, that one thing off of Matthew. Where is it? Here it is. Increases critical rate by 7 percentage points. Yoink! So now you crit more often! More stuff to try. Um, we're also gonna go quickly swing on by the uh, Nopon Caravan. Man, I love browsing. And we're going to grab increased critical rate by 20%. These do stack. Now granted, the ice headband is nowhere near as powerful as the search headgear that we got, but now he's boosted to a whopping 29%. It's time to make that go up, up, up. <laughs> anyway, let's go back to where we were, shall we? Let's see, where is it? The Pioneer's Camp? Might be. Here we are. No, this is not the right location. Apologies. We've arrived. So yes, I am aware that was a lot of nerd speak and I'm sure a lot of you who don't 100% enjoy the nerd speak, all I have to say is why are you still watching? Check it out. Like, I do this for so long and so often, I'm surprised anyone who doesn't like my nerd speak is still around. Usually you have a funny or unique intro when entering someone's stream, but you don't really have one this time, unfortunately. How is that today? I am good. I am playing some Xenoblade Chronicles 3 DLC. And really, that just makes my day already. Okay, seriously, where is it? Aha. Let's have it then. You're a huge Xenoblade fan? Glad to hear it. Most 
I've already gone over my history with the franchise so often in this stream. I feel bad if I did it once more. But I've had a rocky history. Like, really, the, the cliff notes are I had a rocky history with Xenoblade. At first, didn't like the games at all. Learned to love them. Oh, you didn't know that the stereo sound always got louder when you got close and, like, uh, was in the direction? Yeah, I, I do know that. Smell nice. Guess I won't see you for a while. Come and visit. Yeah, I will. I promise. I want to hear you play again. With that old piano, tricky. Then bring one with you. Uh. Yep, we're currently doing future redeem. We'll all miss you guys. It's been a long time coming. Oh yeah, you did miss the Mobius W boss fight. As soon as it, it it was amazing, yes. A second city. We'll make it greater than you can ever imagine. Them's fighting words. <laughs> to it. Uh, what is that? Some sort of tower. We can take it from here. Alright, let's get to it now. Break. Come on, topple it. There it goes. Launch it. Boom. Training, I guess. This is pretty rare, right? All right, give me your best shot. I'm ready. Yeah, we're just gonna slaughter everything in the general vicinity right now because I need that AP. After I take care of this batch of people, I just realized we didn't set up fu proper fusion arts uh, for the team. Let's see, your favorite are Malos and Jindo, Mobius W, and DJ, yeah. Uh, and the final boss fight of Future Redeem. My god, the final boss fight of Future Redeem is so good. And yeah, Rex is the Giga Chad. 
That's what I thought. Honestly, I'm remembering fond memories of the fight against O and P as well. The outcome was patently obvious. Way ahead here. You aren't playing around. That's a big help. Boom. Okay, like I said, I forgot to set up people's uh, fusion arts. I already got them for the first three, but as for everyone else, also we should probably work on generic upgrades. I'll make good use of this. I'm really shaping up here. I'm really shaping up here. Oh wait, don't you get okay? Increase attack power by fifty per, or thirty. Okay. Now we're getting the good stuff. Here's here's uh, oh my god. <sighs> because I I forgot Rex already gets more powerful. What if he just has a skill for five points? Increase critical rate by ten percentage points. Sure, buddy. Why not? You're not broken already. <laughs> now we're getting the good stuff. Getting stronger. Hearts are looking sharp. Getting stronger. Okay, now let's talk about what to give you in terms of arts and whatnot. We don't have enough accessories to go, like good accessories to go around. Um, increases healing. We'll increase your healing. I learned a skill. I wish we had more points. We'll get. We'll get more points. As for your skill, we should come up with your, uh, the one you'll use in, in, uh, chain attacks. Great Garland! So this fusion will cause damage link and AOE heal on hit. I don't know if I like that. What's, what's illusory bloom? Illusory bloom! Ether defense down, evasion down, physical defense down, and blaze. That's a fun one. Ah, uh, let's see. You, we need you to have Minato armor at at the moment. What is this? Armor veil, evasion up, and break. That's fine. That that's perfectly fine. As for you, high crit, and if they're wounded, increase. Wounded means that if they're inflicted by a debuff, I believe. Um, but no, what if we combine that with double spinning edge? Double spinning edge. High crit rate, charge on hit, plus gain charge on hit. <laughs> oh, yeah, you know what? High crit... This is a skill that has a higher crit rate and gives double charge on hit and charge on crit. Why not? <laughs> but what happens if we combine it? I'm curious. What happens if we combine it with rolling smash? Charge on hit, charge on crit, and this just makes it AoE. It also increases the, like, the damage of it. But I'm really tempted to just like. Well, what's Sword Bash do? Just seeing resistance down. Yeah, that's pretty much the same thing. Okay, no, we're, we're going with high crit rate, charge on hit, charge on crit. This this increases the crit rate because he needs it. He needs. He needs to be broken. Um, hold on. Do I have a simple accessory that gives you bonus healing? I gotta have something healing related. 
Recovers 50%. Yeah, that's fine. found some gems sapphire do we have anything better than the sapphire like no the sapphire is probably the best thing at the moment so the reason the sapphire is good um, boost damage by 70% for every enemy in battle. Even if there's just one enemy, it boosts damage by 17%, which is good. That's still a fine accessory. And I don't have an, uh, an evasion booster for you. We'll give you this just to get more aggro. I know I'm going in a lot of menus right now and that's part of the game, but I try to save a lot of my menu shenanigans uh, off screen. Like, I like to fiddle around with the menus off screen and then you guys just get the battles, but... Nah, like, we were introduced to so many characters, I can't avoid that right now. Let's see, more like Rex the Giga Giga Chad. Exa Chad sounds strange. Why would you say Exa Chad when the pun Rexa Chad is right there? Do I have enough to fix this? You know, some of them I'm able to fix from the base, but you're telling me no, I have to fix it from on top. Rude. Uh. Uh. Did I discover Town for Hill? Uh. Oh boy, rabbits. I'm going in. You don't want my back. Let's see what they got. It's it's me, me, bro. Bro. I'm feeling full of I see it. Yeah. Open up. There's need. Uh. 
I'm going in. You lot watch my back. Sure, I can do that. Stop that! I'll be your opponent. I'm feeling full of beans. Yes, give me that XP. Fight the big monsters. I don't care if they're higher level than me. My team is strong. You know, maybe I do care about levels. Quick and painless, thankfully. Man, it sure would be a dumb idea if I uh if I tried to fight that thing, wouldn't it? Don't pull any punches, all right? Huh? Bring it on, Bran again! Yeah! Instant launch! Double spinning edge, let's go! Matthew, why are you dead? Rex, get up! Oh god, he hurts! God, that flop hurts so much. Topple it! Launch! Do it! Oh wait, I can do it. Yeah, you reactivate. Yeah! 
One more go! Attack up. Physical defense down. Big hit. Get him. And boom! God, I love it when a plan comes together. Hold on, I need to take a drink after that. <laughs> yeah, smote. It had over 50% of its HP. <laughs> Yeah, that was nuts! But what if damage go high? It was three levels higher than me! Anyway, I'm like, I'm gonna save... I'm saving the use... Uh, of, uh... Like, using Rex for battles I'm worried about. Because if I'm in control, he turns into the machine. <laughs> Didn't even... T yeah, he never got his, uh, his rage form. Darn you with the topples. Big punch! I miss? Come on, Matthew. I'm trying to show people on stream that you... That Rex isn't everything. <laughs> What makes that fight worrying is that was one of the easy unique mo Why is that worrying? We currently have... Look, we currently have bad gems. We were three levels under it. We were, uh... We did over 60% of its health in one thing. Uh, we have pretty much no accessories. Terrible gems. And we haven't even unlocked the ability to upgrade our weapons yet. I'm going in. You lot watch my back. Yeah, and we haven't even unlocked any like any bonus affinity nodes. That might be considered one of the easier ones, but we went into it <laughs> no problem. Like we still beat it. Let's get some of this. Could it have gone smoother if I grinded a bit more? Absolutely. But where's the fun in that?
Let's see, because that's like a small preview for other... Oh, I know. I've been in this DLC before. Uh, I know I know. there are significantly worse uh, monsters out there. In fact, some of them are probably right around here. I'm going in. You don't watch my back. Hey, don't you get a say in this? Oh god, 14 of them. <sighs> One at a time. I'm gonna get too greedy with this. Oh no, the AOE hit him. Boom. 
big help. An effortless victory. That wasn't even a warm up. All right, give me your best shot. Hey, and last one. First strike to me. I'll be your opponent. That's a big help. There we go. 15 more AP for us. And hello, who's in this cave? Of the 20 enemies. I'll be back for you later. Ooh, shiny. The good kind of shiny. The best kind of shiny. Swim! Swim to grab it! Ah, there it is. Art unlock kit! I just knew it was an unlock kit, I didn't know what kind. Isn't there supposed to be a super bird up here? There is in Xenoblade Chronicles 1. And maybe it spawns later in the game. Because I do know that a bunch of super bosses in this DLC spawn later. Yay, secret area. You know, normally there's something cool in the secret area, but guess not this time. Treasure. Nice. Great view? I mean, yeah. Luminescent Bob spawns later. That's a fun name. If I remember correctly, there might be a shiny over there. I think I need to build a ladder or something. I don't know if we should be doing this. Hey, 
View this after reaching the Black Mountains, okay. Let's see, isn't there something dangerous here? It must also spawn later. If you pay close attention, you'll know where and what these runes are from. Yeah. I know there's something up there. Hello. Affinity Growth Unlock Kit. Not what it was after, but I'll take it. Sworn there was like something you build here. It may not be available yet. But I know it's like right up there. Try swimming. Ah, there was a ladder. I was right. I just forgot where to build it. There we go. An art unlock kit.
And am I mean, I see a big spooky cave in the distance. Am I really going to not explore that? Oh right, this is this is a story thing later. If we're gonna do it, we I wonder if I could beat up a skeeter seven levels higher than me. Probably. Skeeters, I needed. And because I haven't done it in a while, I hope you guys don't hate the following noise. Why is there no submit all option? Might be controversial, but I'm going to give the first unlock kit to Matthew. Always more room to grow. And the reason I'm doing that is because he needs to unlock art canceling. I must be some kind of genius. Also, every single time he cancels an attack, we can increase how much damage he deals. I feel the power. On top of that, we can give him the chance to keep recharge when using arts. Got a new skill. And boost damage by 60% when fighting a unique. So now, 
He just gets an 80% bonus damage whenever we fight uniques now. Like that one monster from before. And I just made this one come back f t like 50% faster. So now he's just going to be chaining arts together very easily. Matthew's not a bad character. Punch, 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 punch. Yes. Yes, that is Matthew. Now, we ought to return to base through the main engine. Oh, sure, sure. Can't go that way. That would be breaking it. But yeah, Matthew's not a bad character. Uh, Rex is just OP. <laughs> Oh, it's actually in the town, okay. Is that a regular shiny or a super shiny? I think it's a regular shiny. Yeah. Okay, but before we head into town, there's still some stuff that we can do. Let's start by heading over here. You gotta wonder in XC1, what were, where were colonies one through five, seven, and eight? That's a good question. I, I'm unsure. I believe it's slightly implied that they were just somewhere else. And we missed them all or they were destroyed. All right, so now that we're high enough level, we can fight this thing. I'm sensing a unique aura from Giuseppe. If we're gonna do it, we better do it right.
Let's go for a mega crash. More. Overkill, let's go. Attack up. Defense down. Big whammy. That's the best way to gain levels. Just EXP bonus. Go crazy. your friends it's rude Back here, nope. All right. 
But I do want treasure. Big hit. All right, give me your best shot. Maybe don't take them all on the board. Right, right, right. You are playing around. And our big reward for all of that is an accessory unlock kit. Overall, I'd say that that was very worth the detour. Now, there is another cave, though. Now that we're level 20, we can explore this area better as well. Which way next? Man, I love browsing. Let's see. While we're here, let's grab another steam belt. There, we just increased Rex's attack power by 20%. Because you guys know Rex wasn't... <laughs> Rex wasn't strong enough. That's what the problem is. Check this out. Nice view of Cadencia's great sword from here, too, huh? Hmm. The way I hear it, it's hotly contested territory for Kevis and Agnes. Um, I've heard so, too. There was some large-scale battle there earlier. Sure. So it's like a key position that the two castles glare at each other over. Both Kevis and Agnes must want what's there for some strategic reason, I guess. In every age. That sword is the fulcrum of conflict.
And I get some points for doing that. I'm going in. You lot watch my back. Sure, I can do that. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. You're really getting into it, Matthew. It's me, you want. That's a big help. Stop evading my attacks. Quick and painless, thankfully. This is pretty rare, right? All right, tons of enemies over here. Let's. Oh wait. Let's Would it be nine? Money. Looks like a lot more than nine, but that flag is probably going to summon more. Let's bash them good. They don't look all that tough. Stop there! Oh no! I lost the enemy's attention. Whoa! All right, the power that makes me more powerful based on how many enemies are here is really going to put in the work today. I'm already looking at you. I don't understand what <laughs> why that's an issue. Okay, so it's either up top or down below. Still need to kill another bard, Igna. Let's see if I can find a way up.
that's right up there. Oh wait, I think I remember. There's going to be a zip line from there to up there. But I do know where there's more treasure. There's definitely more treasure. Uh, let's see, am I able to fast travel to it? Yeah, right here, the three pillar transept ruins. This is the place. Because we could just jump down. Yout. And then we're level 20 enemies here. Hello. What's this giant rock? It's a sarcophagus. A stone coffin. Contained within is a body. A, a husk, I mean. A husk? Are you serious? Isn't it a bit large for a single husk? Nobody said it was for a human. <gasps> what say we leave it the hell alone? What if we don't, though? Killed enough praise, Dignos. But if we go underneath the sarcophagus, there's another unique enemy there. It's got a name. Well, Mac Bright. Dang it, I am getting whipped.
Keep it going, keep it going. Yeah, more XP! Attack up! Defense down! And the finale. Feather Band, Activity Amulet, Work Bell, Battle Manual, Tactics Manual. And an Affinity Growth Unlock Kit. Now the real question is who should get this one because my gut is telling me give it to Rex. And another part of me is scared to do that. So when we unlock this double spinning edge upgrade, it will now take four, four recharge points instead of six to recharge his double spinning edge. And since it hits four times, it's, <laughs> oh, it's bonkers. But we can also get his, uh, his other skills now. If an ally is down or has low HP, he deals more damage and takes less damage. So, I think this might include himself, but if people are dying, he's just going to deal more damage. <laughs> now we're getting the good and, yeah, then we can give him the skill to get even more crit rate. And even more crit damage. Now we're getting the good stuff. That'll come in handy in battle. Skills are earned, not learned. That'll come in handy in battle. And then next, like, next boost we'll get, we'll give him Arts Cancel. So that he can actually, if he, if the, if everything works out, as you can see, his crit rate is currently 54%. But if everything works out, he'll be able to crit into his own double spinning edge. And then he just, 
Then it again, it's funny because Nickel I, I made I made fun of this earlier. Nickel isn't a bad tank because he can't draw enough aggro. There is just no tank build that Xenoblade has ever made that could pull enemies off of Rex from how much aggro he takes. Let's see, I don't seem to be able to... Yeah, I wasn't able to fast travel there, didn't look like. Well, let's head back to Pioneer's Point for a bit. Because there's still one more thing we have to do now that we're high enough level. I think we're direct, yeah, we're directly above a group of enemies. Let's bash them good. Is it even worth it? And that gets us another art unlock kit. I'm wondering if there's any more obvious ones that we didn't get. Because we can't do everything right now. We will need to eventually come back there. With more stuff. I want to check around this camp though. I think we can slide down to go take a look at some stuff. This is the place. Like that is a traversable area. Where we fought the uh the giant robots. But it's one of those, I don't know if we need like a lift or something to go down or if I can break my shins in just the right way. Nope, that is not a wall. Sorry, I'm just gonna... Doze. Well, I mean that is a wall, but that is not floor. I'm gonna watch where I step next. Well, here we are. Let's see. There's got to be something. I 
That's not something I can land on, right? Sorry. I'm just gonna doze. Had to check. I put us in danger. That's on me. Yeah, I'm gonna go with can't access that area for right now. I'm one delicate bell away. Wait, can I get delicate bells from uh, from that one cave? Like, it's still rare, but I think I can get it from here. Okay, we've arrived. Jumping down, that is. Yout. Treasure. No. Yeah, I was right. Fifty more AP. Give you arts canceling. <laughs> now we're getting the good stuff. Okay, but I do believe that that's a good place to leave off. Oh my gosh, it really, like, underground really does consider itself its own map, which is weird. So I can't even fast travel. But yeah, like I said, that that sounds like a good place to leave off. Next time on Xenoblade Chronicles 3 Future Redeemed, we're going to be exploring uh, more of Yesterdale and checking out the home base of uh, Re Rex and Shulk and all of them that they've been getting up to. Because yeah, it's it's been uh, a delight though. This was a very fun okay. stream. We've arrived. Treasure. God, I just I just honestly want to keep playing. I keep picking up more things that it's telling me. Oh, did you know that you can access more Collectopedia stuff? Wait, did I never enter that cave? I never entered this cave. God, it it just keeps pulling me in. Bring it on, troglodyte to Mir. Yeah, let's go what we've got. 
And boom! Arrow Cyclone! Looks like we can close the enemy PD entry. Looks like we can close the enemy PD entry. Do I also get the enemy PDA for the for the eggs? There were four pods there. How did I not get three? Ah, questions for later. Yeah, I, I, I just, I can't keep playing this. God, I, I need to go to sleep and get ready for work and do life. So I'm just going to go over here, save. Okay, it's all backed up. And then I'm going to put the controller down. And like I said, hope to see you guys in the next episode. This has been your host, Kazar Raspel, signing out.